In this video, we are going to check out iHeart Grocery here in Kyoto. Do you want to have a I'll eat you. Oh, I cannot eat it. I like that all the items are neatly displayed. Here's a decopon, which is an orange variety that's grown in Japan. iHeart Grocery is just a few blocks away from Kyoto Imperial Palace. We actually came from the palace when we saw this grocery. Check out our trip to Kyoto Imperial Palace in the cart here. Here's a shimeji mushroom and different kinds of mushrooms in the background. Here's a daikon radish being sold at 128 yen. Fresh flowers are also available. Most groceries in Japan are small but are always full of fresh produce. You didn't see a spoiled item on any of the racks. It's always nice to shop in groceries here in Japan. I would never have to worry about fruits and vegetables. They are easy to find and are always clean. A dozen of huge strawberries sell for 880 yen. Here's a bunch of ready-made dishes. Food you would just heat, then eat. I don't eat mammal meat for personal reasons, but let's check some slices for our meat-loving viewers. The package says it's a store manager's recommendation. Let's just walk and see the rest of the grocery. I don't know if it's just me, but the music makes me scared. Like it's for a horror movie or something. Japan being a country that's surrounded by sea, you'd always find fresh seafood in a grocery. Even in convenience stores, they sell bento with lots of seafood. Checking the shelves, I observed what the lady here was doing. She's grabbing the milk carton from the furthest back because the old ones are in front. Now that's quite a smart shopper. I was planning to get a box of orange juice when I noticed the price. You might argue that 780 yen isn't that expensive. But since we've been in a lot of groceries in Japan, we know that this is the most expensive we've seen. Maybe this is some kind of a special grocery. I guess we'll just get OJ from the grocery close to our hotel. Good thing that the music was changed to a more relaxing vibe. It was nice to see this mini grocery. Even if it's pricier, there are more fruits, vegetables, and meat selections here. I always get excited when I find fresh produce. I put a link to this location in the description if you want to check it out. We're expensive here. Yeah, right. Everything. The, or the orange juice is 780 yen. Sorry, we're gonna say. We ended up just buying stuff from Fresco Grocery, which is close to here in Stay Sakura Hotel. And yes, you're seeing it right, we have a tiny kitchen in our room. Also worth mentioning that there's a coin laundry and dryer behind the lobby at the ground floor. For all its convenience, I'd really love to stay here. I wish Japan would adopt us.
I did a whole tour here if you want to see the rest of the room. Check out this video if you want to see Stay Sakura Hotel. Apart from the fresh produce, we also bought our own oil and seasonings. The kitchen tools were borrowed from the hotel. The staff was actually surprised when I asked for it, probably because nobody did. Maybe none of the previous guests cooked in their rooms before. He even had to call the owner to ask if there were kitchen tools for guest use. Lucky us that they have it and let us guests borrow them without charge. Almost all dishes in Japan have rice or mammal meat. At this time, we were experiencing digestion problems, so our food choices are very very limited. We have to avoid food that make us constipated. If we go to a restaurant, we would have trouble understanding the menu. Consider yourself lucky if a restaurant has an English version of the menu. And even if you go for a restaurant, the food will either be pricey or they add a huge amount of table charge in the bill. It's not the most economical choice, although it's nice to dine out once in a while. We ate at a buffet restaurant in Tokyo once. You can check that video in the card here. By the way, yes I know not to use metal on a non-stick pan. We don't really have a choice so I just make sure it doesn't touch the pan. Smells good, looks good. Itadakimasu! Thank you for watching, see you on the next one!